So this time around, I'm going to introduce if statements to you. Now what we're going to make now is a simple game that plays and guesses whether the number is higher or lower. So if we set up our comments, so this game will check if variables are higher or lower. Okay, so it's going to be random and uh, the first thing we're going to start off with is number. So we're going to set our number which is equal to 7. And our guess is going to start at minus 1. And we'll now, the first thing we're going to do is print guess the number. So that's our like title, if you like. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a while, which we did earlier. So while the guess is not equal to the number, so what this checks, this bit here is not equal. So while the guess is not equal to 7, that's basically what it's saying. What we're going to do is ask you to guess. And it's an integer. Is it? So this is the bit where you guess, so we keep asking you to guess. So let's do the next bit. Right, so if the guess is equal to the number, then what we're going to say is we're going to print that array you guess it right. Okay. Now, to do an else if, so this is basically saying otherwise, so else if guess is less than the number, what you can say is print it's bigger. So you're telling the person that the number is actually bigger. But then you can also add another statement, else if guess is greater than the number, print it's not so big. So you can tell them to try and lower their guess. Now if you run that now, so let's have a look. Guessing. So uh, I'm going to guess if it's 2. No, it's bigger. 3. No, it's bigger. 8. Not so big. 6. Bigger. 7. Hooray, you got it right. So you can see each of these if statements is testing another value. So this equals equals here tests whether it's the same as 7. And if it is, it's saying hooray, you've got it right. But if it's less than, so these are the operators I talked about earlier in the session. If it's less than 7, then you're going to tell the person that their guess should be bigger. But if it's bigger than 7, you're going to tell them to basically try lowering their number. So that's just a, a quick introduction to how to do an if statement and how you can add other tests to your if statement by carrying on using an else if. So there's the while we used from earlier, so it will keep in the loop until somebody's guessed it right. See if you can give that a go.